Gary didn't forgot all about his family. He's just like, we got to pay the rent now. <laughs> I'm, look, I got a house to pay for. He throwing everybody under the bus. Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to my channel. I had been trying to figure out why, 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 why would they do this interview? Why does it make sense? And now it's starting to click. Well, at least a TV expert is giving his reason why he thinks this interview uh, happened. And I'm thinking, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Basically, this interview was done to promote Harry and Oprah's Apple TV series that is coming up. They had to create this problem, this issue that they could really talk about the stigma around mental health and how Harry felt like he couldn't go to his family. Megan had despair. She couldn't go to anybody. She went to HR. She didn't go to her husband who is running a mental health charity. Like they have had talks about this. But they had to create this problem. The problem around the mental health wellness issue is part of the reason why this interview was done with Oprah, because it created a scenario that was going to help to promote the Apple television series all around business. Now, think about it. How could you even justify wanting to do this interview? knowing the, the harm that you are going to be creating for the royal family and the fact that they have done all of these things to help bring you into the royal family, to give you all of these things that they normally didn't do for other girlfriends. Like, and this is what really gets to me about people that claim that this is a whole racist issue. They're not looking at what the royal family have, have actually done for Megan, but that is a side note because people are just ignorant to the way the royal family is, but they quick to comment about racism. And this has nothing to do with that. This couple essentially has done this interview to help promote the Apple series. Oprah has done this because it's part of her series with Harry and they got something in exchange for doing this. So they may have said, well, you haven't received money, but you did get a plug for mental health and you did get a reason why you need to bring a solution to this cause that you are making a problem. Now, Harry and his brother, William, mind you, have both had the trauma and death of their mother at such a young age. But other than that, they have had very good upbringings in their lives. So what trauma or mental health issues are they really going to have that people can relate to? So Megan has essentially done this interview to create the stigma and the problem around mental health so that they have a legitimate claim and reason to transition to, hey, the Apple series around mental health and wellness is going to be coming to a television near you with Oprah and Harry. So we've got a really nice transition from the Oprah interview into the Apple television series. It's all around business. And this TV expert explains. Okay. He says during the interview, Megan mentioned that Harry's upcoming series on Apple TV on mental health and says that Harry and I are working on this mental health series for Apple. Now, while it has been claimed the couple received no payment of any kind for their shocking interview, L.A. consultant said the interview was a plug for the new series. A TV insider added how Harry was expected to promote the show as part of his deal with Apple. So you got money coming to you from Apple. Apple is going to want something and you better mention it in that Oprah interview. And my golly, they did. You see how it's all related there. There's a clear reason why now we can see that they did this interview because 
it just didn't make sense to me. I kept thinking, why, why, why are they doing this interview? Do they not understand that the, the stigma around uh, mental health is being created while doing the interview about Meghan Markle not getting access to mental health? I mean, look at the mental health and repercussions that they're creating for the queen, Prince Philip, Prince William, dragging their names in the mud. Do you not see the problems that you are creating while saying you have the exact same problem? Like it don't make sense. But now I can say, yep, it does make sense. And anybody that is supporting Megan and Harry for doing this interview clearly is not seeing the damage that it is creating for other people involved. And I liken it to somebody who is got their hair on fire, their hair is on fire. Well, they got people in close proximity to them and the, the fire from their head gonna jump onto somebody else's hair. And they like, well, shoot, the fire is on my head. Forget about them. Yeah, I might be the reason why they got fire in their head, but don't worry about them, worry about the fire in my head. <laughs> Essentially is what's happening because clearly Megan's father is have some serious uh, mental issues right now. He has suffered very bad health issues, a heart attack. His own daughter has yet to speak with him since he had his heart attack. And then that whole thing about uh, Oprah asking Megan about her father and how he portrayed her. Well, wait a minute, Oprah, but aren't you interviewing a woman who is like currently at this moment betraying the royal family? What is it? Because everything you are complaining about, you are actually causing that exact same problem to people in your own family. I, I, I just think that people that are trying to justify Meghan and Harry's decision to leave the royal family, you can justify it all day long, but you cannot justify them doing this interview in public. It was clearly to promote their series on Apple that's coming up because they had to do some kind of promotion and what better way to promote something by saying, Oh, my wife, she got that problem. Okay. Here we're going to do it. We're going to talk more about that on my series coming up. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. You know, it's like, that's what it looks like. So, okay. So he's saying it's a very subtle mention the the fact it stayed in there spoke volumes exactly the source said oprah and harry mentioning their documentary in the cbs interview was a clear plug it was very subtle um yeah so they had clear editorial rights to this interview if they didn't want that in there they could have easily taken it out but they didn't because they knew they had to have the plug in there they had to mention it um Sure. So Harry and Meghan did not get paid for the Oprah interview, but you know, there's brand endorsement, there's recognition, which is significant. It's subtle, but it's significant, which is what they said. Um, since stepping down as a member of the Royal family, Meghan and Harry have signed lucrative deals with Netflix, Spotify, both of which who were mentioned in the interview. And another source said it was obviously promotion and said that those deals come with an expectation of promotion. They told Mel Online the interview was powerful, emotional, personal, but let's not forget they are in business now. Netflix, Spotify have paid them significant sums of money and those deals come with an expectation of promotion. And the whole idea around Megan having these issues around mental health was clearly a part of the Apple series with Oprah. Who does not see this? Who does not see that this interview that they have done is creating more problems into the lives of other people associated with them? Do, do people not care about the problems that they're creating on the royal family and the sick grandfather of Harry? Like Harry didn't forgot all about his family. He's just like, we got to pay the rent now. <laughs> I'm um, look, I got a house to pay for. He throwing everybody under the bus. This is like, sorry, got to pay the bills. Hey, maybe here he's starting to wake up to the real world. I mean, you know, he is down to his last $10 million. I don't.
don't know. It's all messed up. It really is. This couple, they do not see the real world and issues that the majority of us people out here struggling to pay our bills face every day. But you can just go and toy around with other people's mental health because you have a platform to a global stage and people are going to listen and pay you millions to tell your lies. Yes. Can you imagine what this does to the royal family knowing that they can't speak out against it? I just have a real problem with people saying that it's okay for Harry and Meghan to do this interview, but they don't see the problem that this interview has caused on other people and their mental health and their wellness. And the fact that they can cause problems that Meghan may have with her father, but Meghan has done the exact same thing that she is causing her father, accusing her father of doing. So what's the difference? Like, the man said he was sorry. That apology doesn't count for anything. And Oprah is not trying to say, Megan, do you not owe your father for all the things that he's done for you? Like people make mistakes. People apologize. People deserve a second chance. Her father doesn't deserve it. This is a couple who gonna lie and say we want our privacy, but they don't act like it. And we see that they have lied about their wedding. This is the other thing. If she said she knew Princess Eugenie before she met Harry, well, wouldn't she know who Prince Harry is if he, she knows who Princess Eugenie is? Like if she's got a friendship with Eugenie, like wouldn't she know that that's their cousins? <laughs> It's all wrong. Everybody is, um, yeah. A year ago, starting this channel right here, I saw this coming. That's why I was like, oh yeah, we got to talk about this. We got to document this because this is just the beginning. We can sit back and we can just try to learn and be better and say, hey, look, don't treat people like this. The whole idea about the controversy around mental health and wellness was used to promote this Apple series. They made a clear endorsement of it during the Oprah interview. And it all is starting to be pieced together in my head at least, because now I can see the clear motive around this Oprah interview. It didn't make sense before, but now it makes sense. They're using it because guess what, you guys? They got to pay the bills. Harry got to pay the bills. And this was just something to help him create the promotion that he is needed to provide for all that money that has been given to him for the, the high profile series that they have coming up. So, I mean, it's unfortunate because a lot of people now the consequences of their deception and how deceitful they are being is causing real world issues for people who are losing their jobs, losing relationships with people and families, all because of a, com a couple who is so concerned about themselves and what they have to have in their lives so that they can continue to thrive.